Then here was a bunch of solid dull dimension. I think it was a 30 or 100. From, I think it's 2003. So, it was never a very good computer, and it was stuff, stuffed on a fan. The only thing that went in it was worth salvaging was a fan and a power supply. The rest was junk, including this board, because um, everything else was already rated off it, so it wasn't worth keeping anyway, even if it did have the um, processor and RAM and everything for it. Not good to the, by today's standards, but either way, I'm going to finish it off by modding, um, cooking it with 5 voltage to earth. In other words, modding it with this. So yeah, let's get the setup going. I'll start cooking these. These will go off with a bang. Surface mount capacitors. Oh, there's no vent. There you got vents. They're all niche cons, so. Hmm. They'll certainly use good, com uh, good components on this this era. All niche con caps, so. Yeah. As I said, it's too far gone now, so I'm going to finish it off. That's unplugged, I feel how hot this is. Yeah, that's not very hot. It's warm, but it's just controlling it, so it's good. Right, I'm going to put some safety glasses on. Okay, power back in. Meter's crawling around slowly. Oops. That took a crap. There's surface mount cap somewhere to pop. Good way to get rid of un unwanted electronics. It's only going to die of fiery death anyway, so. Yeah. Might as well have some fun with it all. Yeah, right in aim in that. See all the black spots. Okay, 100 watt hours fixed. So about five minutes so far. I'm doing this. I got I've done 100 watt hours of energy consumption. Not too bad. Lava. Redneck lava maker. Can't get those to get bang. Go with a hell of a bang if they do though.
some of the um, graphics processor there onboard graphics chip. Then we've got two SATA ports. North to Jaka. There we go, destroyed a north bridge there. Intel is just getting destroyed. Back to check for it. Mot still okay, that's good. A little over 100 body hours used. Alright, let's try something else. Safety first. Uh, Our some Epsom salts mixed with some water. Let's see how this arcs up. I got a little PlayStation controller board in and a pop. See how that goes. Um, a water powered burn out. So power on. Let's see what happens. Oh, the LED just popped. Yeah, it's getting going to air. Boiling pretty quick too. Um, I do have a pH meter laying around, but I have no idea where it is. I'll test. Oh, well, I was going to test the pH prior to the burn. Then test the pH after and see if it changes. Oh, meter going around there. Water just simmering. Cans arcing to earth. Got a little electric um, water header here. There we go. The water gets hotter. Passes more current through the water. Goes straight to earth. Now what the jumper leaves there holding it. Centre. Pretty good. Get too much water, so it's going to take a while for it to start boiling. Getting there, there. Oh. Look at that meter just turn and turn and turn. That's Nearly 200 watt hours clocked up. It's about 1.9, 100, uh, 190 watt hours there. Oh, there, there, so there. Let's see if this can actually boil. Hmm. Looks like uh, Earth's winning. The water's not going to get any hotter than that. Yeah, it's starting to get simmer sound. It's on a light simmer, so it's getting there.
good thing I like teddy glasses on. There you go, that's just arcing up. Alright, power off. Safety first. As always. Oh, I don't even barely warm. It's got heaps to go. Alright, let's head up in here. And yeah, you've got some pops there. LED's gone, so... That's going to take way too long to boil. Too much water involved there, so... Bottom's warm, though. That's enough for today, viewers, so... Thanks for watching.